Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome to the introductory video on something called the Central Limit Theorem. Now, I remember when I was taught this for the first time, I was like, why is everyone getting so excited about this formula? Because this, the textbook was like, this is the most important thing of stats and I was like, why? I really, really don't see the point of it. Essentially, what the Central Limit Theorem is doing is it's giving the statistic that we created something known as the sample mean. It's giving it its own set of parameters and its own distribution. That distribution would be used and it would be, become so famous they would actually get the name normal because it became the normal thing to do in statistics. And like I said, when I studied this, I was like, what's the big point? But when you see the big picture of stats, when you see the big picture of stats, that the only way to optimize processes and answer questions in all these various fields is if we have information about the parameters and the distributions of our random variable that is generating data. Well, what they've done is they've taken the sample mean and they've made it a random variable, or they've correctly identified it as a random variable, and they've been able to figure out its parameters and its distributions using the central limit theorem. Now, like I said in the very first introductory video on descriptive stats, this idea basically came around by using graphs. The guy rolled a whole bunch of dice, and or he flipped a bunch of coins, and he saw the bell-shaped curve appearing it would take another 200 years, 200 years for them to prove the central limit theorem using maths. Now, fortunately for us, well, fortunately, yeah, most universities, most actuarial courses uh, do not require the proof of the central limit theorem. So instead, what we're going to be doing is just explaining what it is, how to use it, how to get the most out of it. But we will not be proving it because, like I said, it took 200 years and some of the most hardcore mathematicians out there to actually figure out the proof. So don't try and get bogged down with like, oh, where did this come from? But rather focus on, okay, how can I use it and understand why it is so important to the whole subject of statistics. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the course. Cheers.